everyone. How's everybody out there doing today? Great to see you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Susan Swanson and today we're venturing just about 45 minutes north of Sarasota and we're looking at these cuties today you guys and most of these are all moving ready except for one. This one is a cute single for $34,900. Then there's this one for $26,000. And then there's this one that's listed for 16,000 and this one is full of potential. So we are moving about 45 minutes north of Sarasota County up into the Tampa Bay area. All of these homes are $43,000 or less. And there's one park that allows dogs for any size. So stay tuned for that. So grab a coffee, grab a tea, and grab that cocktail because it's five o'clock somewhere. And come along with me as we venture through the market of homes to see just how much home we can get under 43,000 in the beautiful area of Clearwater, Florida. Cheers, everyone. How's everybody out there doing today? Great to see you. Welcome to the channel. I'm Susan Swanson. If you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe. This is where we venture through state to state, through town to town to see just how much home or house we can get for our money. And today we're moving north of Sarasota County into the Tampa Bay area. We're visiting Clearwater. And Clearwater is a cool town. There's about 117,000 people there, give or take. You're close to Tampa. You're close to St. Pete. You're certainly not far from here, uh, from all of us down here in the Sarasota County area. So we are looking at homes today. These are all going to be under $43,000. And most of these are going to be single wide mobile homes. And so we're going to start right here and work our way down to the lower price points. This one looks adorable. Uh, it's a two bedroom, one bath in uh, 4300 East Bay Drive, lot 121 in Clearwater. It's been on the market for 30 days. So let's see what 43,000 gets us. Isn't that cute? So there's the community pool. Ooh, starting right off with the bathroom. Very large renovated bathroom. Good size bathroom for a single mobile home. So there's your kitchen. Scott does have a little corner dishwasher there. Now that is something I've not seen before. So there's your bedroom with your trap door. It does have AC wall units, so it doesn't have central AC. Hmm, they like the bathroom. Okay, so this is a living room, and it does have, looks like, I can't tell if those are jalousies. Yeah, they're crank windows, I do believe. Okay, so this would be the living room. This would be the Florida room, but then you'd step down these stairs to go out your door, and this must be a bedroom. I've never seen that before. That is very unique. Looks like it's move-in ready, very clean. Hmm, this is different. Now, this is lot 121 in Clearwater, 33764, and it's a remodeled 1,000 square foot single wide mobile home. Oh my goodness, this is a... Uh, story to tell, but it does not tell us what community it's in. No. Okay, so let's see what the history shows us here. Okay, some history. Wow. Okay, so in 2021, it was sold for 14000 Then in July of 22, it was listed for thirty-nine. Then it had a price change, several price changes, and it was sold for nineteen nine. Then it was listed again for thirty-four nine. Then it was removed changed, changed, then it was listed again for $69.9, then it was removed, then it was listed, that, oh my goodness, look at the line of history. Now it's basically listed, in, was listed for $46,000, and now it's been reduced to $43,000, and they're not going to tell us what, all of this, look at all this, paragraph after paragraph, but it does not give us the detail of what park it is. It does tell us that it's Nestled between the Tampa Airport and the Clearwater Airport, and it doesn't give us any information. But I went a little further into the address, and I found that this is in the Holiday Ranch Park. And it does say here that the lot rents can range between three fifty to six fifty. And uh, yeah, that's about all I have found on this. And then it says here that there's another one for six twenty eight for the lot rent. So, like I've mentioned before, it's best to call the community of interest and call their office to find out exactly what the lot rent is, what their pet policies are, do they allow for rentals, so on and so forth. That's when you're going to get the most accurate and up-to-date information. So that's just a cutie, two bedroom, one bath in Clearwater, 33764 for 43000 It's been on the market for 30 days. That's a lot of history. Okay, so moving on from that one. Here's a cutie for forty two five with a very nice carport. Did this one have a carport? No, I don't think it does. I don't see a carport. Hmm. No. Oh, yes. There it is. I'm sorry. It does have a nice carport, and this would be your storage. Okay. Good thing I looked. 
Okay, so then this one is 42.5. This is on Sumo Drive in Clearwater 33764. This has only been on the uh, on the market only 19 hours, and it does have a very large carport here. Nice landscaping, American flag blowing in the breeze. You gotta love it. Okay, so this one is a 67 model corner lot, and this is in Bayside Waters. And this one says that the lot rent here is a little higher, 1,090. And I want to say here, does it show pets? Um, uh, it doesn't say anything about pets. So again, you'd want to call the community of interest to ask about the pets. So let's take a look and see what we get. Nice carport. That is a huge carport. No screening underneath the home. Very nice kitchen. This is cute. Butcher block countertops. Nice hardware, nice laminated flooring. Then you have carpet in the living area. Very classic, clean, white. I love it. Got a little portable island there. Got your pantry on the side. Then you've got your Florida room here that you walk into off the living area. Huge television. Very cute. Okay, so there's the Florida room on the front of the home, and it does have this portable AC unit that vents right out the wall. So there's one bedroom with some green carpet. I uh, can't tell if they're jealousy or vertical windows. There's your built-in dresser drawers, your dual closets, more closets on the side it looks like. There's your new vanity, new countertop, stand-in shower, very nicely done. There's your second bedroom that doubles as your home office with your built-in drawers, very cute. More carpet, look at the lot, that's very nice. Okay, so this is Sumo Drive in Clearwater, and it's only been on the market for 19 hours. It's a 67 model for 42.5. Okay, moving on. Gonna check out this one. This is on Largo Road, lot 908. It's been on the market for two weeks. And the lot rent here is $7.25 a month. 1987 model. 39.5, three bedroom, one bath. This is kind of unique. Nice landscaping box here. Nice carport. Got your side entrance there. Oh, look at this. Isn't this cute? So you got vaulted ceiling, nice kitchen, nice backsplash there, very modern. So you've got your full-size dishwasher here, matching appliances, laminated flooring, nice refrigerator. So you got a little breakfast bar here. So this is smaller than the previous listing. Very cute though, a lot of furniture in this little place. So that could be removed. So there must be the rear door there. That must be a bedroom. So this one does have the tacking strips because it is a mid-80s model. So that looks like it might be the primary bedroom. There's your closet. Okay, and that must be the side from the lanai, Florida room. And there's your other, that must be the other half of it maybe. And then your, there's your slider doors. There's your full-size washer and dryer. That's very nice. Okay, so this is Largo Road, lot 908, 39.5. Been in the market for two weeks. It is a quiet, gated, pet-friendly, 55-plus community. And let's see if it tells us anything else. Uh, the lot rent here is $7.25 per month. And it is just three miles from the beautiful beaches of the Gulf of Mexico in Clearwater, Florida. So there's another one, 39.5 with 7.25 lot rent. Okay, really cute, that's nice. Okay, so here we go into another one. This one's 34,000, this is a one bedroom, one bath. Lakeview Road, lot 136 in Clearwater, 33756. Been on the market just about a month. This is a 1965 model. I love these older models, I love these. Okay, so that's got the landscaping box in the front that you can fill in, it does have the Overhead awning there. This would be your Florida room access. It does have a carport and another side entrance. That's really nice. Look how cute this is. Nice flooring. There's a little AC unit there in the wall. So you step up to your main living room. This has a lot of potential. This is super cute. There's your jealousy windows. A lot of potential with this one here. Very clean, nice white interior. Nice choice of flooring there. You've got a nice ledge for plants or knickknacks. 
pottery. Very cute. So there's your kitchen area. So you have like this diagonal wall here. Surprised they didn't remove that. Nice kitchen. Corner sink. Okay, and then there is the other side of the room. This must be going down the hallway to the bathroom. There's the bathroom there. The lid, people, the lid. Nice vanity. Oh, drives me crazy. And there's your shower, single shower, stand-in shower, no tub. And this would be the second bedroom with your built-in drawers. There's your electrical panel. Stay away from the Federal Pacific boxes, people. Check your plumbing. Make sure it's not polybutylene. Check your AC unit. Make sure it's working well. You can have a home inspection. You can walk these homes, walk the halls, check the flooring underneath your commode, so on and so forth. This is super cute, though. Lot 136 on Lakeview Road, Clearwater. Been on the market 28 days. And the lot rent here is $840, which does include your water, sewer, and trash. Pick up two times a week and the lawn maintenance, what there is of it, and you do have some amenities. Um, this is Cottage Cove in Clearwater. And I don't see it saying anything about the pets, but again, you can call the community of interest and ask those specifics. Okay, moving on from there. This one is super cute. This one is a nine, says it's a 1980 model, which we know it is not. This is not an 80 model. Uh, this one here is an 80 model. This one here is like a 50s model, which is fine with me because I love these. They're strong as tanks, as I've mentioned before. And uh, there's one that I sold over in the Venice Municipal Mobile Home Park. You can check it out. It was the cutest coastal chic home, and it sold so quickly. And she did a fabulous job. So let's see if this one compares. This is a one-bedroom, one-bath. Been on the market for six days. Gosh, these are cute. Okay, so here's your Florida room. These must be little jealousy windows. You got this could all be filled in with landscaping if you wanted. And then you could have potted plants. Look at this. Okay, so that must be the Florida room on the lower level that you walk into. And then it looks like it has all new flooring there. So this is a lower level, and then you'd walk up to this. Isn't this cute? So there's your wall unit, does not have central air. Now, if you didn't want the wall units for your AC, you could put a mini split in there. You could put it on the wall, on the upper, you know, on the higher level of the wall there. They're very quiet, very efficient. They work very well in these mobile homes. So there's the kitchen. Kitchen and dining room combination. This is kind of a strange floor plan. I'm kind of trying to get the gist of this here. So you've got a tub and shower, your pedestal sink. And then that's the bedroom. Okay, overhead cabinets. Hmm, got a little built in there. That's kind of nifty with dual closets on the side. Hmm, and there's your new electrical box. That's what we want to see. There's another AC wall unit. And there's your community pool. And this is the Avalon RV park. So I did a little digging on this one too because... Um, let's see. Welcome. Newly remodeled one bedroom, one bath oasis in a vibrant all ages family community. And this is like a short novel here as well. And they tell us it is pet friendly, but they do not tell us the lot rent. Uh, okay. So then when I went and did a little digging, Avalon RV Resort is between, let's see, it says the lot rent is 377. Then it says it's 475 to 625 in another one. So, there you have it. So this one is an Avalon RV park, and it is all ages. So for those of you youngsters, and you're looking for an all ages park, maybe you want to move to Clearwater, you just want to get your feet wet, you want to venture around, figure out where you want to be long term, I would not hesitate on that cutie. It has a lot of potential, and uh, has a lower lot rent, and it's $32,000. And it's been on the market for six days. So that is is more of a late 50s model. It's certainly not a 1980 model. There's probably saying that it was renovated, but still it doesn't wasn't renovated in 1980. But nonetheless, super cute, $32,000 single. Super cute. Okay, so moving on from this one here, going to the 34.9 price. This one looks very nice. 890 square feet, two bedroom, one and a half bath. Oh, but, but wait, wait, wait. I gotta go back. I wanna see if there's any history on this one before I... Nope, was just listed. Love that. 
longevity. Okay, so this one here is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. State Road 580, lot 443 in Clearwater, 33761. This one's been in the market 55 days. This is a 70 model. Let's see what we get. This is super cute. Nice carport, again, side entry. This has got little covered porch, which is nice. Ceiling fans, looks very clean. Move in ready. Nice window trim. These are all new windows. Those are very nice. No cranks on these. Nice laminated flooring. Nice open plan. Nice kitchen. So you could have a portable island in here. That's a very nice kitchen. A lot of room to rearrange your furniture when these singles are just opened up like this. Here's one bedroom here. I'm trying to see if those windows have also been replaced. There's your side closet. There's the bath. Pedestal sink, looks like it still needs some attention. Maybe they were in the process of finishing it. There's your little water closet, which is a separate commode from the bathroom vanity area. These windows might have been replaced too. I don't see cranks. So there's another entry there. Nice carport. There's your golf cart. This does have the screening below on the home, which is very important. And if the screen holes are too large, I suggest going over it again with mesh that's a tighter wove screen. And then there's your slider door to go into the side there. There's your storage room. And there's your washer and dryer connect. Okay, so no washer dryer for this one. And this is lot 443. And this is 34.9. It's been on the market for 55 days. And that does say that it's a 55 plus pet friendly community. And the lot rent here is 817, which includes your park amenities, your trash, and your lawn mowing. Okay, and that is the Regency Heights 55 plus mobile home park in Clearwater. Okay, so there's another one there. Moving on, this one is $26,000. This one has been on the market for 124 days. This is a 1965 model off of Roosevelt Boulevard, lot 31. 26,000. This is really cute. Nice carport. Now you could add lattice panels here for more privacy. You've got a storage room there that might be pretty large. You've got your side entry to your Florida room here. Landscaping boxes. This looks like it might be on a corner lot. This looks very nice and clean. You could have hanging baskets here. There's a lot you can do with the carport. That's a nice little side entry there. Hmm, look at this. Good idea. Put the sofa there on the side. Looks like it has updates. A lot of furniture. But that's all right. Very cute. Look at this. So this has been renovated also. Corner sink. Nice cabinets, nice European bar pole in black. These are probably jealousy windows with the cranks. There's your ceiling with the ceiling strips there. There's your renovated bathroom, very nice. Does have a little tub and shower combination. That might be either snap vinyl or laminated flooring there. Here's more laminate, here's your closet space. I don't see cranks on these windows, so I can't tell you if they're jalousies or vinyl or aluminum verticals. There's your other bedroom there. This is super cute, too. I like that. You can go right outside from that area there. And there's your window AC unit. Again, must not have central heat and air, which, again, a mini split can be, you know, installed. There's the other view of the bathroom there. Okay, so this is Roosevelt Boulevard, lot 31 for $26,000. Been on the market 124 days. The lot rent here is $542. Fully furnished Satellite Bay 55 plus community. Uh, pet friendly community, two pets, any size, no aggressive breeds. Any size. I never see them say any size. So for those of you who have been commenting and you want to know if they, have, if they allow for pets and you have a larger dog, Make sure you take note of this one. And this was in the, does it tell me what the community is? Satellite Bay, I'm sure, I'm sorry, I already read that. Satellite Bay, 55 plus community, two pets, any size. Awesome, no aggressive breeds, 542 a month. Great, okay, moving on from this one. Oh wait, forgot, any history? Yes, it was listed for 33,000 last November. 
then change to 29.9, then change to 27. Now it's down to the 26,000. Okay, might be motivated for that one, you guys. Okay, and this is the last one for today in this price point. 16,000, Golf to Bay Boulevard, lot 139, Clearwater 33765. It's been only on the market 12 days. Uh, a 1969 model, 16,000, one bedroom, one bath with a nice carport. The side entry without stairs, which is really nice. I don't see that often. Okay, so this is definitely a fixer. So this leaked. So that is your window unit. This is not a, you know, this is not something that can't be fixed. This can totally be fixed. All this panel can be taken off. Take out the insulation behind that wall. Replace it. Clean it all out. Make sure, make sure it's dry. But it looks like it does have laminated flooring. Yeah, this one needs a little bit of attention, but it's got the wall oven there. Double wall oven. Little kitchen. Now this could all be removed. This is not load bearing or anything. If you wanted to open this all up, look how cute that is. I mean, yeah, it's dated, but it's adorable. Okay, so that you have paneling, and as I've mentioned many times before, paint covers paneling. Paint is a very inexpensive tool, and it makes a huge impact. Really modernizes the space. I think this kitchen is adorable. I love that wall oven. If this works, it could work for another 20 years. Okay, so you've got a double bowl sink there. This has got a lot of potential. So here's your little shower, your commode, the lid, people, the lid. <laughs> okay, so the bathroom definitely needs some attention. There's a little chihuahua. Okay, so that's the bedroom. Yeah, this one needs some attention. But the price probably reflects it. And there's your Florida room slash lanai. These um, have the cranks. There's the cranks there. And then there's the other room that you walk into must be from the outside. That's very unique, too. I've not seen that. So you don't have any stairs with this one except maybe right here and then you have the assist handle on the side. This one has a ton of potential and this is Golf to Bay Boulevard, lot 139, it's only been on the market 12 days, a 1969 model and pet friendly up to 40 pounds, 55 plus community and low lot rent of 675 per month. And I'm trying to see, it doesn't tell me the name of the community here. Uh, motorcycles are also permitted in this community. Sunny Grove Mobile Home Park. Okay, so there you have it. Sunny Grove. And that one is in Clearwater, Florida, 33765. So there you go, guys. These are just a handful under $43,000, right down to $16,000. Most of these are move-in ready. So yeah, cool finds for today in Clearwater, Florida. Now remember, if you're looking here in Venice, I do have that cute single that's move-in ready that's over on Venice Island. Their lot rent there is $400 per month. And that home is a two bedroom, one and a half bathroom. It's moving ready, it's been renovated, it's very modern. And that one has a very nice carport and it has the rear patio. And uh, it gets the best breezes there and it's a mile and a half from Venice Beach and the gorgeous Gulf of Mexico. And if you happen to know where Sharky's is right on the water in the Venice Pier, this community, the Venice Municipal Mobile Home Park is just a mile and a half from there. So you can check that one out. And then I also have two 55 plus very active community homes that are um, right off of Venice Avenue. One is a three bedroom, two bath split plan Palm Harbor model that's only 20 years old. And then the other one is a mid 70s model that's been completely redone, beautiful home. Both of those homes offer more than 1,350 square feet of space. So you can check out the virtual tours of those homes here right on my channel. And I also provided a ride along community tour for both of those communities. You can check those out as well. So I hope you guys are having a great day. So we covered a little more ground here in Clearwater, Florida, up in Tampa Bay. So cheers to that. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Stay safe, stay aware, definitely stay tuned. And you're always welcome to subscribe. And if you're here in the area, get out there and enjoy the beach. That's where I'm headed next because it's uh, clearing up. We've been getting some rain in the late afternoons, which is more like the weather we get in the summer. But so it's been very nice. I went swimming the other day with my gal pal, Alicia. I'll have to introduce you to her because I realize I have yet to introduce you to her. But I went swimming the other day and hung out with her at the beach. It was so, so nice. And the water is just gorgeous. I'll have to get some video of that for you guys when I get over there today. So cheers to that. Hope you guys have a great day. It's good to see you and definitely stay tuned for more. Cheers.